God granted Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Lut a most auspicious end. At God's command, these holy individuals embarked on a migration, abandoning their lands and homes and settling elsewhere. As a reward, our Lord both settled them in a plentiful location in the life of this world and granted them the infinite blessings of paradise in the hereafter. This fact is revealed in the Quran. We delivered both him and Lut to the land that we had blessed for all beings. And in addition to that, we gave him Ishak and Yaqub and made both of them righteous. We made them leaders, guiding them by our command, and revealed to them how to do good actions, perform prayer, and give alms and they worshipped us. We gave right judgment and knowledge to Lut, and rescued him from the city that committed disgusting acts. They were evil tribe who were deviators. We admitted him into our mercy. He was one of the righteous. Prophet Ibrahim relayed the divine messages to his tribe with great determination and, thanks to his submission to God, overcame all obstacles. Prophet Lut struggled patiently with his tribe, calling on them to believe in God and abandon their depravities. These prophets made superior to the world by God won his good pleasure due to the deep faith and superior moral values they exhibited throughout their lives. In the end, they achieved their true abode in paradise with its infinite blessings. The greatest aim of each believer's life is to follow in the footsteps of the prophets, especially the beloved prophet Muhammad, and thus become servants with whom God is pleased. God gives the glad tidings of the reward awaiting such believers. Whoever obeys God and the messenger will be with those whom God has blessed. The prophets, the steadfast affirmers of truth, the martyrs and the righteous. What excellent company such people are!